and then down into northern sections of Davidson County as well. And you can see that rain falling, it looks like, uh, on the um, somewhere in Nashville. So as it slides on through, right through the heart of Davidson County and down toward the Oak Hill, and uh, looks like Bellmead area, that heavy rain continues to slide on through. So that's the status in Davidson County now. Have we reached 10 o'clock? Not quite yet. 9.54. So the warning remains out for the tornado uh, potential for another six minutes as that slides away. Ashland City, you've got the all clear. Pleasant view as well. In fact, Lisa, if we could give some all clears here. We'll give you all clear for some real rain. Not the rain because it's going to rain for a time. But if you're watching from up around Clarksville, not quite in Springfield, I'd give it another 10 minutes, and then you'll have it there in Springfield. Now, Derek Wolf been very stormy tonight. A back foot coming in for a good time. Just moderate rain right now in points west of there. So we're talking about Dover, we're talking about Paris as well. The Tennessee River communities that watch us, Charlotte and Dixon, it's just in very heavy rain. We talked about the potential for three, four inches of rain. I think there'll be a lot of communities that, in fact, realize that from last night and tonight added together and put it all together, it will get areas that hit four inches of rain. All clear for Bonacqua, for Dixon, for Seminole as well. Fairview, the strongest stuff has already moved by. So again, it takes just a couple of minutes for that to slide through, but it's very close to Mount Julia. Now, on the side of the screen right there, you can see the Perry County uh, view that we have around, around Louisville. And notice the flagpole. My guess is that looks like it's got blown in one direction from the wind. Uh, it continues to be a sustained wind that will we'll now be from the northwest. Initially, out ahead of this thing, we'll have south winds. With it, we'll have west winds. And then as we go through the overnight, as the uh, cooler air moves in, we'll be in the 40s tomorrow, we'll have a northwest wind that's going to take over, and it's driving all this nasty weather uh, further east. So. Um, that's the situation tonight. We looked for a little Boeing signatures for that main threat for straight line damaging wind. We told you about that last night. And when you see it Boeing out, that's where the strongest winds are. So uh, Antioch, you're getting it here momentarily, or if not momentarily, right now. South Nashville, down on the Williamson County, Davidson County border. It's very heavy rain still in Oak Hill, but it is settled down right here in West Nashville and West Meat. It's quiet outdoors right now in West Nashville outside our studio. So it slid through pretty quickly. Donaldson, you can see it approaching downtown. We're in the heart of it right now. And Lisa, if we can go to the, the TrueView computer, the weather computer, just to sort of look at the warnings again and to sort of highlight that, even though it's oh, just three minutes before 10, if this thing drops off, it will drop off at 10 o'clock, that red box, and that's a tornado warning. 